Welcome to Rutgers University, home of the Scarlet Knights. My name is Christian Dyer. Over the next half hour, we're going to take you through the ins and outs of what's hot for football in the tri-state area. This is your football showcase. In an athlete's journey from high school to the pros, fitness is a key to success. Test Sports Clubs offers a direct path on that journey. As experts in fitness and conditioning, the Test staff specialize in preparing elite athletes for success at the next level of competition. Ryan Martin is the CEO and founder of Test Sports Clubs. He has helped oversee the rise of Test to become one of the premier training facilities in the tri-state area. Ryan took us through his main facility in Martinsville, New Jersey. This is it. This is where we do all our strength and power training. We have our vibration machines over here. We have uh, air-based technology where you can train at much higher speeds. Our racks for free weights, but also have air technology there to, to train at a much more powerful level. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and work on explosiveness. And then we move here. This is the field. This is where the magic happens. This is it. This is where our pro athletes come to work on techniques and our middle school and high school program. They, uh, they all work on it out here. We, get, we do all our speed and agility programs and this is where we make it happen. And while a lot of your clientele may be just the regular person, the, the average Joe coming in off the street who wants to work out, your bread and butter is really the elite athlete, high school, college, professional. Yeah, we've had over uh, 60 athletes get Division One scholarships in the past year or so, so we were real fortunate there. And you know, we got about 30 guys that have uh, prepared for the NFL draft this year. So uh, you know, it's a good mix, and uh, you know, we work with all sports, boys and girls, and uh, do speed and agility for all sports. But you know, right now we've been real focused on that NFL draft because it's uh, it's coming up here. So, and, and the Test Sports Club mantra really is about training champions. That's it. I mean, we want people to, to get the most out of their ability, regardless if they're a first round draft pick or someone who just wants to improve their balance or strength or lose some weight. Uh, you know, they're all equally important to us and, you know, become a champion for themselves, not necessarily always win titles, but to, to get the most of their, their abilities. What do you do when elite athlete, college athlete comes in here, wants to get ready for the next level? Well, in our elite program, guys are here about six days a week. Uh, we do double and triple sessions, uh, positional work. We, we really do a lot more positional work. We have eight former pros on staff, NFL players, and you know, we, uh, we do a lot of just real specific training for each specific sport. Right now, these guys are you know, football players getting ready for NFL mini camps, and uh, we do a summer mini camp that leads up to NFL camps. And you know, then we also uh, we do full regeneration. We have hot and cold tubs. Uh, we have the full therapy over here. So we have everything they need to accomplish all their goals and including nutrition plans and, and meal plans and you know, uh, sports psychology, you, know, you name it. You know, we're, we're trying to cover every base so that we leave no stone unturned. Now you have a lot of guys here that we're going to be hearing about playing on Sundays over the next few years, whether it be a Mario Urudia, a local guy such as Eric Foster, yep. you know, Xavier Oman. We can go on and on with the, with the names of the players that are training here. Yep. There's one player though, ever since he's gotten here, has had a meteoric rise, mm -hmm. Joe Flacco. Yeah, well, Joe, I mean, we've been real fortunate to work with Joe. I mean, a year ago, he was probably a sixth or seventh round prospect. And, you know, now he's, he's on the verge of first, second round. Uh, he's been working with Scott Bruner, who played at Delaware as well. So Scott worked on all the positional work and working on all the quarterbacking, getting out from under center and working on his foot quickness. And we worked on all, all the, the strength, the, the rehabilitation and uh, speed and strength for him. And uh, he's ready to go in and, uh, and light it up in the NFL. Well, Brian, you're now going to take us through some of the workouts, some of the things that are going on, yep. whether it be the speed, whether it be the fitness, whether it be the weight training. We're excited mm -hmm. to see what Tess is going to offer us. All right, great. Thanks. This is the uh, Kaiser Functional Trainer. We work on explosiveness here, fast twitch muscle fibers, being able to be explosive. We can work it on different angles depending on the sport. Here for football, we're going to work on we have skilled players here, we have running backs that are here right now, so we're going to come out of a two-point stance, work on bringing hands, hips, and feet at a fast level so we can work on explosiveness and fast twitch muscle fiber recruitment. So it's, it simulates what they're going to be doing in minicamp in about a week. Oh, come on, be explosive now. Pop out. Hands, hips, and feet. Come on, bring it. Speed. Good. Get a little height with it. Get a little height. Get up. 
Get up. Here we go. Drive up. Go get it. Quicker. Come on. Speed. Come on. Go get it. Good job. Working on rotational power here, working on that transverse plane, trying to create as much power as we can to create more elasticity in the core. And Kevin Dunn has mastered many skills here to improve power here at test. The explosive now. Kevin's actually a former diver at, uh, at Rutgers University, he held a number of the diving records there, and he's learned just different, different moves within the, the physiological patterns to create more power, elasticity, and, and just kinesthetic awareness, which is basically the study of movement. Um, Kevin's the master of all that stuff, really helping these guys with the power output. One of the athletes who has benefited from test sports clubs is Eric Foster. Foster, a former All-American out of Rutgers, talked with us two days before the 2008 NFL Draft. And Eric, we just saw you going through your workout, some of your rehab, your agility. How are you feeling right now? Draft is a day away. I'm feeling great. Excited, anxious, and I'm nervous you know, a little bit. You got the nervous feeling like, like uh, Friday before a game. And, you know, you don't know what to expect, but hopefully I hear my name call Saturday, Sunday, wherever it may be, hear my name call, and I'll be happy. Now you're just coming off five years of playing college ball at Rutgers. Now you're in training full time as a professional athlete. What's the mentality change as far as that goes? Uh, I love it. I mean, to, to be fully dedicated, don't have to worry about any classes or anything like that. Just be dedicated to working out and, and, and progressing yourself as a player. I love, I mean, I love to do that. I'll take that any day. And to do what I love doing and to work out and to be a better player, I just love it. Love the whole the whole situation of you know training for the combine, training for the pro day, and training for uh, mini camp. I mean, I love it. Well, let's talk about training for the combine. You've been here at Test Sports Clubs the past few months. Right. What has the evolution of your body been like over the past few months when you look from January now to May? I see my body go through some changes, and I feel great. I feel explosive. I gained 15, 17 pounds, and I still feel quick and explosive. I mean, everything that this, this organization said they had to offer me, I mean, it's been true so far. It's been true, and it's been great. I mean, from the trainers to the complete staff to the custodians, I mean, everybody is great here, and they get you to another level. And I do want to talk about, you know, you had an injury that you're coming off of a little bit. You, how are you feeling? Are you 100% now? Definitely 100%. Uh, I had a hamstring pull at my pro day, and a week after that, I mean, I was putting in three, four hours alone on my, my glutes and my, my butt alone and on my hamstring. A week after that, I worked out for a couple of teams, and then a week after that, I worked out for uh, two other teams that came out here to, to watch me run. And I feel great right now. And I, I do want to talk a little bit about the program that you're coming out of Rutgers. Obviously, you're no longer going to be with the team, but you still feel a connection with the team. You were even at the spring game. Definitely. I, I was out there. I, I love football in general, and, and to see what I, what I was a part of, and, and to see the guys that I play with, and now they're still trying to you know, solidify um, Rutgers University as a big time football program. I just love just being a part of that. And obviously with the stadium expansion, Coach Ciano signing that long term deal, things are looking up. What I want to know is Eric Foster going to be getting a luxury suite at the new Rutgers Stadium. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, God willing, like I'm putting in the work, but it's, it's only up to God, you know, and I, I'm, I'm leaning on him for uh, support and for guidance.